Head, grab that lever and bring it all the way down. And we'll see a little bit of drop in RPM, and we just did. Bring it back up, and we'll see. Uh -oh. There's a rise. Okay, now we've got a uh, throttle, retard to idle. So go ahead and bring it, bring it all the way down to the bottom. We're doing this for a couple reasons. Number one, all the way down. All the way down. So we want to make sure the engine's not going to quit on us if we're short final or something like that. We want to make sure that it's still going. Okay, once we've established that the idle check is good, now go ahead and bump it back up to 1,000. Okay, now, before takeoff check, master switch on. Flight instruments check correct. So, we're going to start with the airspeed indicator. Just go left to right. Airspeed indicator showing zero. We're not moving. That's good. Um, attitude indicator. It's lined up with the horizon, and that's good. Yep. Altimeter. Uh, we've got the right uh, code in, and it's reading within 75 feet of our location. Okay. Right out here on this runway, it's our elevation is 750, so we're pretty close. And then vertical speed. It's showing zero. Heading indicator. We're going to line that up. It's showing in between north and three, and about five away from north. You have to push it in, and then turn it. Right there. Yep. The biggest thing you have to keep in mind is that this is backwards to right. what uh, that reads. Yeah, right. Next, we have turn coordinator. Yep. Wings level. Ball is centered. Look good. Now, fuel selector. Fuel selector is on the fullest tank, but when is it not going to be the fullest tank? So we need to do two things here. We need to make sure that the, that the fuel is on the tank we want, and that we're going to basically decide on when to switch it. Okay. So, we have a couple ways to do that. We can either have the hops time here. If you have a clock or a watch, you can use that. Or, if you want to set this in, you can press function, and go to the uh, countdown feature, okay. and press that. And then it'll start counting down. 30 minutes from now, we'll get a little warning, and it'll uh, help us to switch tanks. Okay. Mixture set full rich. So we've got the mixture full rich. Electric fuel pump on. So go ahead and flip that for me. Uh, carb heat off. Carburetor heat is off. Primer in and locked. Should still be in and locked. Engine gauges look normal. That's going to be the fuel pressure gauge, the oil pressure gauge, the oil temperature gauge, and the alternator amps. So what we're looking for here is green, 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 and not zero. Okay, it's in the green, but barely. Yeah, and it'll go up. Uh, depending on pressure, so if I increase the RPM, it'll actually go up. Okay. Uh, because it is engine driven. Same with the vacuum pump as well. Okay. Static source normal. So, um, over right above your left shin, there will be a little metal kind of bar. It'll be parallel with the wings. Should be underneath. Yeah, underneath right above your left shin. You should find a little metal bar. Or at least feel it. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, if you, uh, you can move it toward you if you want, and it basically it's a difference. In fact, let's see this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So now it's off, and what that does is that takes the static air pressure from inside to outside, and we can also check to see if it's working by if we increase our RPM a little bit. And then give it a flip. You'll actually see the vertical speed change. Going all the way. It's got a very slight yeah. change, but not too much. See it most in the tomahawks, but whatever. I'm actually wondering if that might be wrong. Whatever. Um, okay, but static source good. Seat belts locked and tracked <coughs> in tracks, so make sure that your seat uh, your seat back is good and. Seatbacks are wrecked, belts and harnesses, you've got the shoulder strap behind you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and help you with that. Thanks. Come any further? Um, 
should. <laughs> Is that the one that's getting stuck? Yeah. Four three zero zero kilo text pilot's choice via Alpha Charlie Alpha One. Alpha Charlie Alpha One. Yeah, so that's as far as it'll go. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. So hopefully that gives you enough. Um, big thing is uh, just make sure you can reach the uh, fuel uh, fuel switch. With like your left. Attempting contact ground. I hear you, King. No voice. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then uh, empty seat. Good. Flap set. We're going to keep them down for now. Trim tab set to neutral. That's going to be in between us right here. You've got the. Uh, <coughs> sorry. You've got the trim. If you can look inside, there's a little metal bar in there, which I can't even see right now. Oh, okay. Can't see it right there if I kind of like spring it back on me. But there's a metal bar that's right there in the middle that we want to check and see that it is neutral. Hard to see. Yeah, it is, and it's not really lining up good. I have to take my glasses off to see it. Yeah. But right now it's neutral. Okay. Um, controls, free. So this is back to basically that box that, that we did at the beginning, so full forward. What's that? Uh, controls, free okay. and correct. So full forward, check yep. it to the right. Make sure the, uh, basically make sure we're good. Full to the right. Full to the back. Checking left. Going down, going up, and full forward. Two, we're good. And that's it. Controls are free and correct. Um, door closed and latched. We'll go ahead and get the top. Um, overhead latched. Radios, proper frequency. So we can go ahead and switch over to tower. And transponder altitude slash code. So we've got the transponder right here. Our code is going to be 1200. And then we need to turn it to altitude. So go ahead and hit that button for me. With information, Charlie. Helicopter 3 Delta Papa, George Center. Uh, Tour Center 3 Delta Pop, East Ram okay. request a uh, departure to the east. Now, go ahead and take off that parking brake. So, three don't ignore the disc on top, just pull back, and then let MSL, it down. Uh, for pattern traffic on yeah. the downwind, and departure from that okay. ramp will be at your own risk. Proceed on course. And you can go ahead and make a right turn and get behind him. Departure from East Ramp at my own risk, 1,300 at below for 3 Delta Pop, thank you. Actually, you might... Okay, no, yeah, we're good. Let's November uh, 2 Echo Sierra Georgetown Tower. Uh, Roger, that's not your traffic either. There's one more out there. Echo Sierra, be looking for traffic. In tower 91, is the beam, the numbers, uh, touch and go. Sorry, two low exits, runway and kind of ground. Roger, exit and ground, Roger. November 716 Mike Whiskey, Georgetown Tower, fly uh, right traffic, report midfield downwind, runway 36, clear for takeoff. Right traffic, clear for takeoff, 716, Mike Whiskey. Okay, so as you take off, Power all we're going to do, uh, we've already got the plane configured, you're going to go full throttle, and we're going to accelerate. The plane's going to naturally want to move to the left, so all you're going to need is a little bit of right rudder. Not right brake, just right rudder. Um, and once we get up to around 63 to 65 on the uh, airspeed indicator, we're going to start rotating. Now, of course, I'll be, tell I'll be telling you this as we're doing it, but um, that's the general rule of thumb. A little bit of right rudder, and then once we get to around 65, start pulling back. Power 3, I'll be on right wing, 